Hey, what's up? Jerry here from joggingonsense.com and today I'm going to be talking about reverse parallel parking. Okay, I drive around and I see a lot of people avoiding these parks. The only reason why they avoid them is because they can't do them. Okay, so it's actually really, really helpful if you know how to do all three parks. So forward park, reverse park and the reverse parallel. Okay, so for the people who don't know how to reverse parallel park, I'm going to show you. All right, so I'll do the a theory version and then uh, I'll do a theory and the video tutorial. Okay, so I'm the blue car, all right, and I want to parallel park in behind the pink car. So I go mirrors, right signal, right blind spot to merge onto the right hand side of the road. Then I put my left signal on, and what I do is I drive parallel to the pink car, one meter out, wing mirror to wing mirror. Okay, try not to overshoot the car because you need to reverse back anyway. So save yourself the trouble and just go to the wing mirror. It gives you something to aim for. Okay, so one meter out, wing mirror to wing mirror, immediately put it into reverse. Now I just leave my left signal on because it cancels itself when you start turning the wheel. Okay, so one meter out, wing mirror to wing mirror, reverse, uh, immediately put into reverse, make sure you look behind, and then reverse the vehicle back about 30 centimeters. Okay, so these are only approximate estimations. Obviously, the distance is going to change if you're in a van or a different kind of vehicle. All right, so in the, um, in the lens, I just reverse it back 30 centimeters and then full lock it to the left to a 45 degree angle. Okay, now I've got a couple of students and they go, where's 45 degrees? So, okay, fair question. Okay, so I'll make it easy for you. If that's 90 degrees, half of 90 is 45. So I just uh, full lock the steering wheel to a 45 degree angle. Now, when you put the vehicle on a 45 degree angle, make sure you uh, look at something. So look at a tree or a letterbox or a boat. I don't know, it could be, could be anything, all right? But you wanna aim for something Okay, at a 45 degree angle, it could be across the road or something like that. All right, so I full lock it to the left to a 45 degree angle, uh, making sure I look right and then I look left to see if it's all clear. Then I do one and a half turns on the steering wheel. Okay, then I reverse the vehicle back to my wing mirror is in line with the tail light. So imagine that there's a dotted white line down here or a dotted black line in this case. And then that tells me to turn the uh, full lock, the steering wheel to the right. Okay, then I end up like that. Okay, now be careful not to end up too close to the vehicle in front. The minimum distance is 1.2 meters. I try and stay within the range of 1.5 to 2 meters. Okay, it gives me a lot of room just to mm. drive straight back out again. All right, so I'll do it again. So I'm driving up in the blue car, mirrors right signal, right blind spot, merging onto the right hand side of the road, put my left signal on, and then I drive parallel to the pink car, one meter out, wing mirror to wing mirror, immediately put into reverse, look behind, reverse the vehicle back 30 centimeters, full lock the steering wheel, or full lock the vehicle to the left to a 45 degree angle, okay? Then I look right, I look left, one and a half turns on the steering wheel till my wheels become straight, reverse the car back till my wing mirrors and uh, level with the rear tail light of the vehicle in front and then I full lock it to the, to the right, okay, making sure that I have the correct distance from the vehicle in front so I'm not boxing myself in. Okay, so there it is, drivinganswers.com and that's the reverse parallel park. Thanks very much. See you later.